as the New York Jets go, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, how things just didn't work out um, with Adam Gase. And uh, quite honestly, uh, it just, you know, I understand that it just was one of those things where it was time to move on. Totally understand that. Uh, and as a, as a head coach for the Jets, just didn't get the job done. They were, uh, they weren't great this year, but I will say this. Robert Sala is going to transform the Jets. I mean, you, th you think about what this man did uh, with the 49ers and just totally transformed that 49er defense, made them Super Bowl contenders. Um, and quite honestly, energy changes everything. I know that it's it's kind of a cliche thing. It's kind of like um, it was, the grass is always greener on the other side. I don't know. I'm not really can't really think right now. I haven't had my morning coffee yet to think of a good analogy. But the point is, energy changes everything. So if Robert Saylor comes in and immediately uh, when he does come in, I'm telling you, he's going to immediately instill an energy in that defense that is just going to get guys excited. I'm talking about guys like Quinn and Williams, who they were literally thinking about trading this man away uh, a year after he was already with the team. Now, he had seven sacks last year, um, had 55 tackles. I think he could really revive this man's career. Not even really revive. I mean, Quinn and Williams is already a great defensive tackle, but I think he could definitely get him on the fast track to being one of the best defensive tackles in the game. So, um, all around though, this, this defense does have some pieces. I mean, I, I definitely think, you know, guys like Marcus May, uh, Bryce Hall, I think is actually going to be something quite special. Um, I mean, there's just all around this defense. There are little pieces here. Now there's, there's probably not going to be a lot of, uh, not a lot of these players left over, but you get, you talk about guys like Qu uh, Quinn Williams, Marcus May. Uh, I mean, I think Neville, he, he would have had a good season last year too. At the end of the day, He's going to start transforming players. Not just he's going to start transforming the Jets after he gets his players in that he wants on that defense. You think about Sam Darnold. I don't think the Jets need to trade him. I don't think the Jets need to get rid of him. I think he's the answer. Get this man some weapons at number two. Maybe trade down, get Jamar Chase. I don't know, whatever. But get this man a weapon. I, it doesn't matter. Devonta Smith really does not matter to me. Uh, he, the, you need to get this man a true number one wide receiver. Now I think there's a lot of hope. Um, you know, for guys like Brashad Perriman, Denzel Mims are really excited about their futures. But at the end of the day, when your number one wide receiver is Jamison Crowder, not taking a shot at the man, but kind of says it all right there. You know, uh, he's a good right wide receiver, but uh, I don't think he's necessarily a number one in the NFL. So at the end of the day, I think that, uh, again, energy changes everything. So once Robert Saylor gets his defensive players in that he wants in there, uh, starts to instill that defensive scheme, that defensive mentality, uh, and really that intensity. If you saw if you saw the 49ers a couple seasons ago, not last year with all the injuries, but the year before that, they had a different way about them. They were intense. Uh, they got after the quarterback. Now, again, they, they had four, what was it, first-round draft picks on the defensive line. I don't care. This Jets defensive line is going to be, uh, is going to, not even just the defense, the defensive line, uh, def not even the defensive line, the defense is going to be something special. Once Robert Saylor gets the players he wants in there, especially with the energy he brings, the steam he brings, uh, and the swagger that that defense will have. And again, I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. Jets don't need a quarterback. Just staying out there for you spoilers out there. So um, I think that the future is bright in New York. That is uh, for the Jets. And I think it's going to be um, a really exciting uh, team to watch, especially as Robert Saylor gets his team going. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Um, I go hope and pray you guys have a great day uh, and great uh, rest of your week.